You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and normally we promote different nonprofit events on Greater Brockton. Today, um, we have to, due to the untimely passing of Wayne McAllister, my colleague on the Southeastern Regional School Committee, um, serious business. We have to fill a vacancy, or actually the City Council, the Brockton School Committee, and the Mayor acting as Chairman of the School Committee have an important meeting coming up on Monday, November 28th at 7.30 in Council Chambers, and I have City Council, our former Council President, Dennis Aneri, to talk to me about it. Dennis, welcome. Mark, nice to see you. Thank you. You Thanks too. Thanks for inviting um, me. Dennis, you have been a school committee member, you're a city councilor, we've filled vacancies before, the most Correct. recent one prior to Wayne's passing was after the passing of Michael Healy, the former school committee member in Ward 6. Correct. And there is a process that governs the filling of a vacancy in between elections. That's correct. A lot of people are asking me, as the person that just got re-elected to the Southeastern School Committee for a four-year term, why wasn't that person on the ballot? There's a regional district operating agreement that covers how vacancies are filled. That's right. And there's a process that's different for Brockton than it is for the towns. The towns, if there's a vacancy, they get on the ballot for the next election. Right. In Brockton, because of a lawsuit filed by Jerry Kelleher in 1987, we have a different process. We have a four-year term. If there's any remaining time on the vacancy, that person fills the vacancy for the remainder of the term. Wayne would have had two years on his term starting this November to November of 2018. Right. So the vacancy that you're going to fill is a two-year exactly. vacancy. Exactly. Exactly. So what's the process? How does this all work? And, and I, think, I, I think you really have hedged towards what the process is by your opening words in, in regards to the city council and school committee coming together, you know, to work with this process to elect that particular individual. So. Be, as, be it as you've said, um, that's what we're going to be doing this coming Monday evening. We're going to be uh, starting at 7.30 p.m. in the City Council Chambers. The Brockton City Council and the Brockton School Committee will come together to appoint a person to fill Wayne's um, un, unexpired term until that term is up, and then that person would run you know, for that seat as well as like you continue to run for the seat there and do an outstanding job too, Mark. I do want to say that. Thank you. And, and as much um, as uh, you know, we, we lost Wayne, who was a great, great person to the city of Brockton and a great person to that school committee. Um, hopefully we can find somebody that can come at least close to what he was. Wow. I, I think we can, but we'll, we won't know that until that night. But. You know, that's you have, what we try to do. All you have to do is be a, it says eligible voter, but it's really it's registered, registered voter. Registered voter. Because you have to be part of the process, and you have to be a resident of Brockton exactly. who's over 18. Exactly. Okay, some people have asked me, can I be from one of the towns? We get elected at large in nine communities. Right. That's not the way the vacancy works. Right. The Brockton officials fill the vacancy. Exactly. Okay. And if you can recall, we did, I think the last time we did one for, uh, Southeastern Regional uh, Vocational Technical High School is the way I always knew it. Yep, as Mark. you got it. Um, I think we did that last one. If I'm not mistaken, it was when Tom Devine passed away. Yep. And that's when uh, Winnie Pacunas right. was appointed to, to that vacancy. And I was on the school committee then. Right. And we came together. And uh, uh, even some of our older counselors were there, Paul Studinsky, Peter Aziaf, mm -hmm. those people. And we did the same exact thing. So it's, you know, it's been done before. And as you said, we did it just for a... Uh, passing of a school committee member, Brockton school committee member, not too long ago as well. So, you know, the process, um, again, we're meeting Monday night uh, at 7.30 p.m. in the council chambers. And before, um, you know, the meeting takes place, um, I'm looking and hopefully seeing that there are some individuals, you know, not just one, but maybe two, three, four, that are showing some interest in the seat. And if they are, then we're asking them to bring their information or get their information to the city clerk's office, some small synopsis of, of what they're all about and right. anything prudent that they feel is most important to, to let us see um, as school, city councils and school committee members. And they have to have that information to the city clerk's office by Monday, November 28th at noontime. Mm -hmm. So they have to have that there. And they have to, if they could, just make sure that the envelope uh, says attention to the city council president, Timothy Cruz. But that is going to allow us to take a look at, you know, whoever that individual or individuals are and, and, and be able to see, you know, and I would think we'd be asking them some questions. I would 
think that's how the process is going to be um, handled. I, I thought that's what the council president was looking to do. If it's one individual, then it's one individual. Right. But I think there may be a few other individuals that are looking for it. Oh, I've fielded a few calls. Some people were interested, and maybe now they're not. Some right. people are interested. What, what I want to get the word out, and I have asked the council president and the school committee vice chair and the mayor to just be able to speak. I'm not going to say who you guys should vote for right. as the person that's going to serve with them. But what right. I'm hoping that someone will ask the question for, so I'll say it right now, yeah. is do you intend to serve for the two years? Because right. if you're looking to run for another office, and I don't want to, I don't, I, I don't think you guys want to go through this twice. No, no, so not at all. So a two-year term, and then hopefully they're so interested in it, not they want to stay there and run for a four-year term, maybe. Exactly. Because like Winnie Petkunas, who you mentioned, she was on for 10 years. She was there for I'm on for eight right now. I got reelected, so it's, I'm going for 12, and I'm not going to stay there and be there for 30 years like some of the other members. Easy now. But, um, <laughs> you know, because that's a committee you have to die to get off of, okay? But <laughs> it's a, a great just committee. Just the 30 it's years, a great just committee. Back and rings oh, we, the, there, were, there were some people that served oh, on that committee. We had a gentleman Lord. who was 99 years old in a nursing home and he passed away and they filled it they named the administration building for him Robert Gerardum sure. Ralph Armstead was on for 37 for years yes, he he's was. a former chair it is a great school as you know it's it is. wonderful it's, students 62 percent of the students are from the city of Brockton and, and, and that's nice to see too that, that we have that high percentage of, of Brockton students that go over to the you know that want to take an education from from the southeastern regional vocation of technical high school I just like saying that well, word because that's how it always was said when they say southeast school or something well, I get upset with that well you know you because and, it isn't you and you know? me both I want people to know what they're what they're going for and we you know how intense the Brockton School Committee meeting absolutely is, been on it you have two meetings a month then you have all these subcommittees this is easier. First of all, it's a four-year term. Second right. of all, we meet once a month except during budget season. Right. We do have subcommittees, but they don't meet as often. We do a strategic planning retreat in the summer, and we, we don't do a July and an August meeting. Mm -hmm. We usually do one. Yeah. It's not as heavy lifting as the Brockton School Committee or Correct. the Brockton City Council, but it's a great way to break into government. It's a great way. You're representing parents and Absolutely. children from Brockton and down the road when you run for re-election you don't you're not just not on the ballot in Brockton you're on the ballot in the other eight communities as well exactly. so I like to joke with people that I got 82,000 votes this last election <laughs> if you add up all the other votes together See? I got more votes than anyone of course I didn't have an opponent yeah, which you, is the best way to run absolutely but, the um, best way to run it, 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 it's, 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 a, it's an egg exercise in civics and exercise in government like if you were in student government like me and you always wanted to get elected to an office this is a great one to start Correct. out at it and, is. but not really use it as a stepping stone right it's, 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 that, it's an entity time. in its yeah. own right yeah okay and you I'm involved with Mass Association of School Committees which we just which got we all, Mr. McAllister the Lifetime which Achievement nice. Award Very he served nice. for That's 14 good. years That's Wayne super. hated awards yeah so yeah. unfortunately he had to pass for me to nominate That's him nice. and get him an award and I had Mo Hancock there at the meeting That's who nice. served with I'm him, the former that. president of MAC. We included him with Sarah McAllister and Sharon McAllister nice. and the brother and the nice. sister. So. I, I received the award when I stepped down from uh, from the school committee after 20 years. Uh, it was Kevin Nolan, the late Kevin Nolan, right. that, that submitted my name and uh, I was able to receive the award. So it's, and that it's was a, a nice vacancy re too, if I remember. And right. Kevin Nolan became a vacant. Well, he was a vacancy. But, but he had the election. He, he passed in June and in the last six months you could leave it empty. But right. when Mr. Daly won the election, we placed him in that November, right after the election right. was over, so that right. he could get experience and, and get exactly. going. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But yeah. So we get the final minute. What do you want to say as an experienced government official, school committee, city council about this process? Well, I, I first let me just just say again and remind everybody that come Monday evening, the city council and school committee are coming together to make the appointment to to this very important seat, which I think is very very important. And I would I would venture to say to anyone that is out there that is very interested and you feel that you can do the job then come forth and let us know who you are and let us make that decision that's what our job is on Monday night I, I like I said I'd like to see more than one two I'd like to see four or five almost maybe eight or nine as we had just not too many months ago and we had to replace the the school committee man from one six I think that's what's important I think as you detailed what you do there um, in your position, it's, it's just as important. Whether it might be a little bit more lighter than what a Brockton School Committee does, you're still a part of the educational process. Absolutely. And, and you're, you are supporting and, and watching over 62% of the students from Brockton 
Brockton, city of Brockton, that are going to that school system. So I think it's a very important job, and, and I hope that everybody um, that shows, is showing some interest right now, that they do come forth. I think it's important. Just get your information in, get it to the city hall, city clerk, by noontime on Monday. That way there we'll be able to see that information when we uh, arrive at the meeting that night, and we can take it from, from that point. So it's Perfect. very, very important. So Perfect. Thank you, thank Dennis. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for putting all, it all together, always. and uh, it's important to you, it's important to me, and it's important it to the community. very, very important. Thank Happy you. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.